and welcome. In this video, I will explain about the vendor payment process automation or supplier payment process automation. Let me explain. For each and every organization, the vendor, process, vendor payment process or supplier payment process is a routine activity and also it is an important and very crucial activity. Let's see how we can automate this process end to end in Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. First, I will show you how to create I mean, what is I am calling a routine activity. I will create the vendor payment line from the vendor payment journal. Then I will automate the same process by using the process automation setup. So now I am giving some criteria to create the manual payment. Let's consider this is a manual activity done by users in weekly basis or daily basis or as per their payment run process. So now I'm giving some criteria and records to include like say let's consider the routine activity for the user is they need to select all the method of payment called bridging or any method of payment or currency or any vendor account they need to select and they will fetch all the pending invoices based on this criteria and after that they will create the payment journal and post it so now all the all the bridging method of payment i have selected has come in this page i will click on create payments and this is remember a manual activity what i am talking about so now system has created all the payment lines based on the criteria so this is about the manual creation and then after that they will post it this the same activity i will show how we can con fully automate i will first delete these lines now i will go to payment setup under accounts payable module a form called process automations from here we will create this series like i will click on this create new process automations and i will click select the vendor payment proposal schedule type and legal entity i will give and create the series and remember this is a one time setup here i need to give some name right automation of bridging payment and I will give the schedule time and which time this process automation will run. Say now it is 3.07 am for me it is 3. I will keep it as 3.9. After 2 minutes I can show you how system works. Repeats I can select daily, weekly or monthly as per the payment run process. Repeats daily interval I can keep it 1 or 2 whatever. Every weekday means if I select this only weekday it will run. Saturday Sunday will be excluded. I will select this. I will click on next. I will click on finish. And here I need to give the criteria. This is very important part. Based on this criteria, the system will run the automation. For now, I will select the vendor payment. But for you, if you are considering this setup, you can consider by creating a new journal name for automation or whatever. So that later on you can track which are the journals have been created by the system and post it. I can give the criteria whatever I was giving the criteria like uh, while selecting the payment proposal select invoice by due date amount limit means I can I can limit this automation by some limit price that uh, to this price only this automation will work and on the records to include this is the same criteria I was giving at the time of creating creation of payment journal say for method of payment I have used bridging payment I will select same bridging payment I will click on OK. I will click on Finish. Our automation setup is done. So what will happen? Based on this criteria, based on this timing, system will automatically run and create those payment journals. So now it is 3, 9 a.m. I'm expecting this will start from now because it is also 3, 9 a.m. for me. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. It will start executing. Uh, 
uh, okay let's do one thing because 3 9 am is passed maybe i can change it to 3 11 because it is 3 10 for me so that it can start working okay now it is executing state because i have given is a 3 10 or 3 11 uh, it is in executing state it will be completed by some seconds let's wait once it is completed we will go into the vendor payment journal and we'll see what and how system has created the journal it is still in executing phase I will keep on refreshing so that it can change the status but in real life you don't need to keep on refreshing for this video I will click on refreshing to show you how this works let's wait okay now you can see this is completed so that means the criteria I have given this is completed by this batch I will go to vendor payment journal now you can see this second one the first one I have written manually the second one I have I'm expecting that all the lines will be created automatically by the system yes as you can see I have given the criteria and system has created this payment line automatically so I don't need any manual intervention to create this payment journal if required you can keep this automation up to this up to this part and after this user will come and validate and post it however if you want to okay uh, you know fully automate like posting also will be automated this can be done by the old method called post journal say under general journal there is a uh, possibility called post journal here you can select that this journal will be posted automatically as and when this is created and available for posting for now i have i was i have already tested that's why it is coming as wind pay so for now i will select name and wind pay and let select let, let selection will be yes if i click no uh, i have missed one part which is i missed to show you that in post journal when you are creating you can to go to this run in background you need to click on batch processing you need to select the recurrence say i will click on one minute so that it can be posted by one minute automatically and click on ok so this batch job has been created so that means this payment journal which has been created by the system automatically this will also be posted automatically by the system so now as you can see there was two line one line i am hoping this is a manual one i have created and there will be no line see there is no line that means what system has created automatically that already been posted by the system automatically after i have created this batch so now i will select sorry i will select this posted on newest to oldest yes you see now it has been posted and all the lines which system has created automatically as a part of vendor payment proposal or vendor payment line has been posted so let me summarize what we have done we have identified that some of the vendor process vendor payment process a routine job for users and based on some criteria user come and create those lines and post it what we have done we have used this process automation framework we have created this series and we have given the criteria on that series we have told system that one for daily at scheduled time you need to you need to find out based on the selected criteria in the bridging payment or whatever the criteria you give system need to create those vendor payment automatically after that once time comes system will create the live vendor payment journal and if organization wants to post it automatically that also we have done by the post journal so 
as you can see this whole vendor payment or supplier payment process can be automated if there is some routine activity or criteria which is done by the users on regular interval or weekly interval however if there is a if there are some processes like say after you know creation of journal they need to select some or they need to send this to the bank or wire payments or check generation i would recommend don't use that post journal let system to create the payment vendor payment proposal based on the criteria then user will come and review it and post it as per their own convenience so that's all about the you know vendor payment process automation or supplier payment process automation in dynamic system of finance and operation where you can leverage this functionality to you know automate your organization's vendor payment process fully i hope it has been a new things for me a new things for you you will be able to sell this or you will be able to utilize this functionality for your upcoming implementation thank you for watching bye